end of the bowl season, we have literally pulled ourselves above 500 for the first time this season. We're 43 and 42 because we hit that Minnesota Golden Gophers and the under last night. Love it. That was beautiful. 43 and 42. We started the season like fucking like 3 and 12, dude. We have gone on one hell of a run. I am so impressed with us and with our logic. I am, yeah, I'm just super happy. How's it going, Ben? Uh, it's going well. It's going well. Um, I've got really nothing going on this week. So, um, sipping a few beers here and watching a, a meaningless uh, bowl game here at the Pinstripe Bowl. So, I'm thrilled. Absolutely thrilled. Hey, hey, these bowls mean a lot to everybody who puts their money on them, okay? Like, well, nine out of ten people. Some people bet on these games because they got nothing better to do. But most people, they want to win. They want to win. Well, let's hope uh, let's hope the the Terrapins um, pull away with this thing. Yeah, that's sure, looking like Maryland it. Up, yeah, we got Maryland up seventeen. I assume in the second quarter. Uh, we're in the third. We're in the third already. All right, there we go. Even better. Even better. Terrapins taking care of business. Um, let's see. We did not have any comments from last week, unfortunately. You know, I love those. Oh. I love those salty comments. All right. I guess let's get going with those bowl games from tomorrow. I mean, unless you got something. No, no. Let's let's dive right in. Uh, I assume with the Duke's Mayo Bowl. You betcha. The Duke's Mayo Bowl rotation two five five two five six. South Carolina catching ten against UNC. On a total of about 57 or 58, depending on where you look. So, so Howell is going to play this game. Yup. Right? Yeah, I'm not confusing that. So, yeah, I guess I could only lay it. Um, as I recall, this was Mac Brown's first game as coach of UNC. And he beat South Carolina outright as like an 11-point dog or some shit. And I see no reason for the score to not be the same this time. Give me, like, yeah, North Carolina 41, South Carolina 20. I don't know, something like that. What do you think? Um, yeah, I mean, in terms of the side, I think you have to lay it with North North Carolina because Zeb Noland um, will be starting, um, who is their, like, third string uh, for South Carolina is their third string QB. Um, the games that he's won um, as the starter were – uh, let's look at this real quick. Uh, I believe it was East Carolina uh, where they eked out a win, 20 to 17, and Vanderbilt where they eked out a win, uh, 21 to, to 20. So this guy, Zeb Noland, he, he's not very good. Okay. So if, if their starter was in, I think his name's Josh Brown. Um, I did not watch any South Carolina this year. Um, even in the games against Florida, even in that game against Florida, um, in games that Josh Brown started, uh, they were a fairly confident team, and that's when they pulled out a lot of those upsets against Auburn. That close game versus Missouri versus Florida, um, he was a the starter then, but he's in the transfer portal. Uh, and in addition, South Carolina's leading rusher, uh, Zaquandre White, will be out. Um, I think he's um, headed to the NFL. But Kevin Harris, who was their leading rusher last year and I thought was really good, um, and is their second leading rusher uh, this season, will be playing. So I think with Zeb Noland as the starter and a few other opt-outs, you have to look to the North Carolina side. Um, but I personally have already bet this on the under here. Um, I don't expect South Carolina – um, to really move the ball very effectively with Zeb Nolan as a starter. Um, if they're to, if, if this game is going to be close, it's because South, South Carolina can effectively run the ball, um, get a few turnovers, some, some wild special teams play, um, which would equate to uh, low scoring. Um, and let's say it's perhaps a blowout, most likely – uh, Sam Howell, who will be going in the first round of the NFL draft, will be sat uh, at some t- at some point in the third quarter. Um, so I think really any so, way well, here, like 
he could have sat himself though is my thing like why he why is he playing this game if he doesn't want to finish it uh, I, I think Mac Brown will, will, will give a little tip, tip of the cap. You know, if this is like okay. 38, 38 to 3, then, um, you know, he, he's done a good job, Sam. Right, he can, right, he can, he okay, can sit out. You. you know, like if this is an absolute total blowout. Um, so I think a, a lot of the permutations of how this game could play out lead to, um, to, a, to a low point total. So I bet this um, – under I forget what number I, I got it at, but I bet it earlier today. Um, but anyway, yeah, I would look towards North Carolina uh, on the side, but I put my money on the under. One other final comment: the SEC so far is doing terribly in bowl games, so fade the SEC. Fuck oh, Mike Leach. So fucking tilted about the Bulldogs. I am still tilted about that game. I wow, we're completely the wrong I'm side. So on the wrong side. Like, oh, so wrong. It so was wrong. The exact reverse opposite of everything that I thought it was going to be. And I, I'll tell you this never again will I bet a game solely based on like coaching stability and motivation. Never again. Because oh. everything about that game was set up for the Bulldogs beat down. And like these plays were being called at random, the defense wouldn't tackle. It was a joke. Oh they, announced, they, they announced. They announced right. Lose? They they announced right before kickoff um, that all the starting defensive linemen and D backs had COVID, so it was only the linebacking uh, starters were in were in the game. <laughs> well, let that be a lesson. All right, then maybe yeah, maybe there was a lot to that. I mean, they were missing a lot of guys on defense. But, I mean, the defensive plays they were being asked to make were not over the top. And, actually, the defense played fine because the defense held um, freaking Tech on, like, 13 points for the longest time. Like, so, I mean, it was really down the Leach's offense that was total garbage. Yeah, like, terrible. Um, it's just, and SC, you know, SEC teams have played – Missouri covered, but Missouri's right, lost to Army. Lost, Auburn Flor- lost, right? Florida lost to UCF. Mm-hmm. Outright loses the, the yeah. fucking Malzahn. I told you about Malzahn. <laughs> okay, so uh, I think uh, what do what do you want to give out? Yeah. Do you want to give out so let's, uh, let's the give ten? Out both, dude. Okay, let's just lay yeah. Let's just lay it in the under. Like fuck it. Okay. Because and honestly, intrepid people will make the same parlay that we did with the Gophers in the under last night, and they will feast. Yeah, this is going to be a fucking beatdown. I mean, it might sneak over because UNC scored too much. That's my only fear. Like, but, but yeah, South Carolina's got nothing. Um, total 58, right? So that implies 34-24 final. Yeah, 38-3 to three sounds more accurate. Um, yeah, all right. Um, th- we might be in an emergency situation here. Okay, N- never mind. I, I thought ESPN really screwed me and all of a sudden changed to the uh, to, to an MLS game for whatever reason. Um, I don't even think MLS is playing right now, but we're, we're, we're on track. Never mind. Never mind. Every No no problems here. Pinstripe game. I'm tell you a secret. Pinstripe Bowl is, is moving ahead. I don't think MLS ever stops because I think they've started to, like, trying to be like European soccer. So when they don't have the season, they like have random cups and tournaments. Oh, gross. Okay, and let's let's and, move on. Yeah. Anyway, <laughs> rolling on ahead, rotation two five seven two five eight. The Trans Perfect Music City Bowl. I don't think they should have named their company Trans Perfect. I don't think they are evoking what they mean to evoke with that name. What do you it's think they do? Boring. I'm going to tell you, it is not helping people with bottom surgery. Okay, <laughs> whatever it is, it's not that. And that is the first thing I thought they did when I saw the game. <laughs> now, um, it's a translation. Season. It's a translation uh, tool. Live oh translation tool. Yeah. It always kills me when someone tries to start a narrow cast app to take on something that Google already does. Like, good luck with that. Yeah. Um, Tennessee laying six to Purdue on a total of 64 and a half to 65 and a half all over the place. Um, this line seems a little inflated, but I still would only lay it. I don't know. Do you think Purdue could win this game? 
Um, I'm not sure about win, but I bet on Purdue. I kind of think Tennessee might be frauds. Um, I kind of hear that, <laughs> but it's like their offensive line should still take care of business against the Boilermakers. Carlaftis isn't even playing, right? Yeah, he's out. And some of the mocks, some of the mocks have him going to the G Men. Um, any who, any oh, who, I want a any, black pass rusher, not to be yeah. racist. What <laughs> black pass rushers? What about the Bosas? The Bosas are doing well. JJ did well for for many years. Come on. A while, I guess. The, you know what? The while. T- TJ is quite good too. Yeah, no. Watt the younger is influential. I mean, oh, all right, maybe. Ah, oh, jeez. I'd and, rather take Clayton Tune. Um, oof. He's. I think he's staying anyway. Uh, so so Tennessee. Okay, so their wins. Okay, they beat Bowling Green. They beat Tennessee Tech. They lost to this bad Florida team, by the way. Okay. Mm-hmm. They beat up on Missouri, 62 to 24. Uh, Missouri went bowling, but not a great season. Uh, they beat South Carolina, 45 to 20. Okay. Bowling team, team that's bowling, but, but not great. Um, they beat South Alabama. 60 to, to 14, and then Vanderbilt, 45 to 21. The only real sort of feather in their cap is the win, 45 to 42, versus the Kentucky Wildcats. But in that game, the University of Kentucky gained 612 yards versus Tennessee's 461, and Kentucky had 35 first downs versus Tennessee's 17. Um, so I'm going to discard that as a fluky game, uh, whereas Purdue, I mean, like not having uh, Bell in this game is huge, but just I think their resume is just much more impressive. Um, hanging in there but losing to Notre Dame, beating Iowa, beating a good Nebraska team, beating a good Michigan State team, um, Putting up 31 points on Ohio State, I just think inherently they've had a better season. Um, and I think Tennessee might be a baby bit fraudulent with playing a pretty weak schedule. Uh, so that is why I bet on the Boilermakers. But I'm not sure they're going to be able to win this game, but uh, I, I bet the plus six. I mean, here's the thing, though. Aren't the Boilermakers bringing in a quarterback um, who's untested? Because I forgot uh, to mention that in setting up this game, but didn't Plummer leave? Plummer, but Aiden O'Connell's still there. Oh, did O'Connell S- take the job from Plummer during the season? Correct, Joe. Oh, my bad. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Yeah. Okay. All right. I mean, fuck it. I mean, I. You know what? Six is a lot to weigh. So e- I mean, yeah. I guess the savvy play is to take it. It's just hard for me to see the volunteers like not being able to move the line of scrimmage effectively. I just don't know how Purdue ever gets off the field on third and short. Who who's more talented? Tennessee, right? Probably yeah. more talented. Probably. But, but but I mean but Jeff Brom is a good offensive play caller though. So like But this is what I was gonna say. Who okay, and talent wise, Tennessee has the edge. Schedule wise, Purdue has the edge. Um, coaching wise, Purdue has the edge. Mm-hmm. Um, the the fact that this is going to be in Nashville, like obviously this is going to be basically a road game, and I mean this is going to be a home game for the ball. Let me push back on that. I think people in Nashville low key hate Knoxville. If anything, locals who show up are going to root for the fucking Indiana team. I feel like if people didn't drive there from Knoxville, they're going to be rooting against Tennessee. I mean, there's going to be a lot of people from... Maybe in Nashville, they don't like the volunteers, but the, mm-hmm. the vast majority of the state certainly does. And it's in driving distance. No. No, no, exactly. It's like one of them things. So, it's like um, it's like Lexington in Kentucky, 
Nashville's kind of the same thing. Like, the people who live there are a bit, you know, more cultured than the rest of the state. Like, they don't think much of them. Like, it's kind of the same. Sure, but that doesn't prevent Volunteers fans from going on fucking SeatGeek. Yeah, SeatGeek and buying some tickets. Yeah. Yeah, but I mean, but also people who's coming down from Indianapolis too, right? Like, I don't know. People have been capping this game like it's a semi-home for the balls. I do not grant that. Actually, that's another reason for the plus six. I agree. We should give out the underdog here. It's the savvy play. Let's do it. Yeah, let's do it. Mm -hmm. All right, next one up. I know you're going to have an opinion on this game. I am. I am 